First one, your reset machine and make a lock with this working area. Lock and then turn on it. Turn on it and then open the software. Uh, so we will have this interface. Now you have this interface, click the OK. And then we move this X axis to zero. zero. Take that. We already got the X axis zero. And then we go ahead with the Y axis zero. this one take care okay x and the y are done then click the this one and then now we have the calibration ruler for calibration this machine okay, take care it will be best to ha uh, wear the groove to to take this ca calibration ruler and then we now take the ratio in the 0 0.7 we have this 0 0.7 and we this ruler is transparent sample transparent so we only need to open the down down the down light the down light if if your sample is opaque we you need to open the up light like this one, up light. Opaque sample. For opaque sample, you you need to open the up light. But for now, we are transparent sample, so we only need to uh, turn on the down light and adjust the light. Now we move to the here. We move to the round to the round to click to check. Go ahead, we found the round. Uh, if you found hard to find, you can open, turn on the laser precision to find it. Okay, go ahead with this. Okay, now, now we make cal calibration with the uh, 0.6 diameter round. So now we calibration with the 0 0.6 diameter round. At first, we need to focus on this round. On this round, focus. This one is for adjust the focus. Adjust. It should be clear. Just. And uh, here, here we adjust the light. Light. And more, more clean. This. And uh, uh, right click with this one. And uh, click the round. Uh, take take note with this this part okay uh for now the the round is on the right side the up right side and uh, we need to make this round in the left or in the down for in the in the left it's for the clockwise clockwise in the down is for the counterclockwise to calibration both okay but cannot in this side should in this side or this side let me show you and uh, for now i move with the x axis la here we got the round in the uh, left click and uh, go ahead with the round should be done and it should be done we need to move with the y axis Aha, here, here. Aha, now we click the uh, round in the downside of the left. Now move 
the run in the right side of the uh, down. Yes, the down of the right. Okay, okay. And uh, so go ahead. No, adjust this one. Now the round is on the right. Click. Eh? Oh, here. Now we get the safe calibration data. Input ratio 0 0.7. 0 0.7 0 0.7 should be same yeah should be same and click ok yes now we get the data click ok so now how to check if the calibration is correct click the round you will get the diameter click the round you will get the diameter click the round we get the diameter. Uh, so of course, adjust the light. Be dark a little. The diameter will be a little different, right? If light is too light, and uh, the diameter will not very correct. So, for example, yes. Okay. If too light, you should check the diameter. Will be, uh -huh. will be zero point five nine. But we take dark little. Oh, not not too dark. Dark little. To click, click. Now we get the zero point six. So, this is the calibration step then you can continue with the next test and take care to remove this calibration ruler cannot dislike just take it